Nitrous on the beat guys it's your girl diamond and i'm back with another video for you guys and today y'all today is gonna be like i guess my first little like smoke and talk not really long story short i just so happened to um get sent home from work so i wanted to smoke my little blunt real quick like obviously you're not gonna see me huffing and puffing but you're gonna see smoke is what i'm saying i guess this would be my first little like smoke sesh type of thing as you can tell by the title i will be getting down to the nitty gritty with only fans since everybody asks me um pretty much how it works and what's going on with it so i thought i'd do a video um if you see me looking down it's because my phone um and i wrote down some like really good points like about 10 points or whatever but as y'all can tell because i work overnight so it's y'all will be seeing this video today like i don't know what time pretty much when i finish editing you guys will be seeing this video but right now it is four wait could you see it 4 47 a.m so i guess this is my first time making a very early video um y'all maybe if y'all write below y'all want to know what happened i'll tell y'all but if y'all don't i don't think it's really that serious but it's just annoying but whatever so we're gonna go ahead and get right into this video don't forget to like comment and if you're new to the channel subscribe because you know i'm gonna be on the way with more bangers you know we're on the road to 600 subs we already got 559 so you know y'all go ahead and hit that sub button let's go ahead and get right into this video so the first thing I'm actually gonna do is spark this little blunt real quick, actually. Feels good, feels great. So the first thing um, that you should know about OnlyFans is be cautious. When I say be cautious, means beware that what you put on the internet is what you put on the internet and it's there forever. So be mindful. I'm not saying don't post what you want. I'm just saying, once it's out there, it's out there. So if you just so happen to see something get leaked, can't necessarily be upset only because you know what you were doing when you started in OnlyFans. So if you're worried about that, OnlyFans is not for you. Click out of this video. Well, don't click out of this video. You can watch the video and figure out what OnlyFans is. But I would say as far as signing up, if you're one of those people that worry about things like that, I wouldn't sign up. Two, signing up. So what OnlyFans is, is OnlyFans is a platform that was made for creators of creators of all sorts. It was never really, I know like the whole stigma is that, oh, nudity and porn and everything like that. It was never made specifically for nudity and porn. To be completely honest with you, their guidelines actually tell you to not post any nudity. Obviously, they don't follow it for real, but their guidelines do ask you not to post any nudity. So that means if you were reported, not saying it happens often because it doesn't, clearly people are making from bank doing porn on it. But I'm just saying if any, just in case like anybody else wanted to make OnlyFans, um, you don't have to put nudity or anything like that. Like you can put you cooking, you can put, um, if you're one of those people that play games or like anything like that, it's literally was a platform made for people to see extra content from other creators. OnlyFans is for everybody. It is not just nudity. And I just want everybody to know that. Um, obviously the biggest platform is if you did nudity. <coughs> Y'all, this is the gas pack. The trunk pack. Is it gas or what? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so yeah, OnlyFans was never made for just porn and nudity, but obviously, you know, you can make money, some money, if you do porn and nudity or, you know, sexy pics or like anything like that. So signing up also, um, when you first make a profile, you actually aren't eligible to make money until you go to the settings where it says, um, put in your bank information, your driver's license, everything like that. Do not put anything fake. And I'm gonna tell you why. You put something fake you will a either not get verified or your money will be in someone else's name also when you're making um an only fan you don't want to put your real name you want to make a stage name you know something cute or whatever you would desire like something like that 
you don't want to put your actual real name just in case you know like anything happens people are weird people are creepy and you're gonna see that doing this what to post and what i post um what to post again that is completely on you um, OnlyFans is not, like I said, a platform for just nudity and porn. If you wanted to post some tea on there and have people pay for it, do that. If you wanted to cook and you wanted to show people your recipes but you didn't want to show it for free, do that. Like, you get what I'm saying? So, I definitely would say for what you post, post what you are comfortable in. Do not let anybody tell you to post this, post that, and that goes for anything you post. Whether it's gaming, whatever. If you, if you do gaming, and they want you to do poems. If that's not what you're comfortable with, then don't do it. Like a lot of people I know with this platform do things that they do not want to do. I personally am not one of those. I am personally a one to miss out on money if I don't want to do it. I don't care how much you're paying me. If I don't want to do it, I don't want to do it. Um, another thing is, is that I, um, they'll ask you to meet up. I personally do not do meetups because safety. Um, I don't knock anybody who does, but if you are going to be that type of person who does meetups, I definitely think you should be careful and be mindful with who you're meeting up with. People are crazy and you really don't know what people look like or who they actually are, who they say they are until you see them off screen. Gas your But as far as what you should post, post what you're comfortable in. Like if you don't, if you start doing it for the money, it's not going to be fun anymore. It's not going to be, it'll probably be draining to your life. It's fun for me. I personally like doing it because I do what I'm comfortable with. I don't do anything that's out of my comfort zone. Everything I do is because I want to do it. I started OnlyFans because I wanted to. You get what I'm saying? Now to what I post. What I post, I'm not going to fucking tell you. <laughs> Subscribe and find out. <laughs> but, um... I will just say that I post what I'm comfortable in. Um, I do post sexy photos. I'm not going to act like I don't. Um, side note, I am running a 35% off. So, you know, the link will be below if you guys are interested in stuff like that. Make sure you are 18 and up, by the way. Um, but, yeah, that's pretty much what I post. A lot of promotion. If you are someone that doesn't want someone to know you have an OnlyFans, you don't want your family to know, like don't get me wrong, it's, um, you can always create a fake profile and stay under the radar, but as far as getting paid, um, I don't, I'm not sure if like other girls have went through this, like maybe there are girls that are making bank under the radar, but OnlyFans requires a lot of promotion, like you can't just post once and think you're gonna get hella subscribers like no it doesn't work like that you need to promote 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 everywhere i personally think you should promote on your social media i don't think you should make other accounts for it um just because i'm sure your own social media has a bigger following but you can make other accounts you know to stay out under the radar i personally don't care it is something that is going to come with a lot of judgment it's going to come with a lot of Every, like, it's just something, you you really have to be the type of person who does not care what anybody thinks. And I'm that person who does not care what anybody thinks because I know me and I know what I'm doing, I know how I'm doing it, I'm the only person who knows me. No, everyone just assumes how I'm doing it, you know? So, I would definitely say a lot of promotion. Like, you're not gonna get a bag if you're not promoting like that. I, I don't want people to, like I see all these YouTubers that are making hella bank because they have followers. I don't have followers like that. I'm making like, you know, decent money. I'm making pretty good money, like to not be as big as they are. Like I don't want you to think, oh, dropping only fans, get a bag. Like, no, it's promotion, it's work. Like it's not just, oh, I'm gonna drop my link. Like, no. What I charge and how to charge. Um, I would say, I see what I charge People think it's too expensive, but I really don't care. Um, I would say when you're charging, do not let do not let anybody tell you to drop your prices. Somebody is going to buy. I would not drop your prices for anybody. What I charge, mine is like 15 a month. Um, right now with 35% off, it's 975. Um I was I did start off at 10 or 999. I think 999 is a good price to start off with. Um I was thinking of going back to $9.99, but I'm like, nah, I just feel like making 15 is a lot more. That's how much I charge. Now, how to charge, you can charge from um, 
the DMs, you can charge by message, you can charge monthly. You also charge people to unlock videos if you have a free profile. Um, how else can you charge? Uh, tips. There's like multiple ways to get money than just the monthly subscription. Six. Set boundaries. Like I was saying, I think in question three, post what you are comfortable with. Do not allow anybody to talk you into posting something that you do not want to post, okay? Like I said, that'll take the fun out of it. You're not gonna like it. At this point, it's gonna be more for the money than just the fun. Like I said, I do this for fun and that's because I post what I am comfortable with. A lot of people ask me to post things. A lot of people ask me different questions. You will get a lot of different questions and a lot of things that you may not wanna post. Don't do it if you don't wanna post it. If you have to second guess it, you shouldn't be posting it. Like, you get what I'm saying? Definitely set boundaries with your customers. Let them know what you do and what you don't do. And stick to those boundaries. Like, like I said, do not allow, like, I cannot stress this enough. Do not allow someone to take you out of your comfort zone. This is you, this is your body. You charge how you want to. This is you, this is your page. Besides even it being your body, this is you and your page. And you charge what you want to. Seven is be consistent. I can definitely say I fell off a little bit and I did see a change in my money. So definitely be consistent. Be consistent with the promotion. Be consistent speaking to your customers. Be consistent posting. Um, and I'm not saying post every single day, which you can, but at least, you know, three, four times a week. Like, that's a good time to post, you know? Oh, and for what to post. Again, um, okay, so people are more likely to buy something if it intrigues them. So don't give it all away on the post. I personally don't post any videos on my feed more than two seconds. So like, you don't want anybody being able to be satisfied with just your feed. And that's with anything you post, any content, whether like I said, it's gaming or it's anything what you're doing, you don't want anybody to be satisfied with just your feed. You want them to tip. So you'll post a teaser of whatever it is, what the game, the cooking, or whatever it is that you're posting so that they can tip for the full video or the full whatever you're giving. Seven, or no, not seven, eight is have fun, like I said, uh, be safe, be comfortable, have fun. Like I said, this is your platform. This was made for creators and the fans are supposed to be just along for the ride, you know? Um, obviously you're doing things to have to please your fans, but at the same time, you're doing it in your own comfort zone. Nine is taxes. Um, I personally am still learning the taxes, so I'm gonna insert this TikTok that explains the taxes a little better than I can, so let's roll right into it. I just made $10,000 on OnlyFans. How do I file my taxes? You're going to want to file a Schedule C with your personal tax return. What's a Schedule C? Schedule C is to report income or loss from a business you operated or a profession you practice as a sole proprietor. An activity qualifies as a business if your primary purpose for engaging in the activity is for income or profit and you are involved in the activity with continuity and regularity. Does having an OnlyFans mean I'm a business owner? Pretty much, which means you can deduct expenses such as supplies, internet, and I just software. received a 1099 from OnlyFans. What do I do next? The 1099 contains the total amount you receive from OnlyFans. It helps you fill out Schedule C. Schedule C is also where you claim your deductions. How do I know what deductions to claim? Your deductions must be for business expenses that the IRS considers ordinary and necessary. An expense is ordinary if it's incurred by self-employed individuals in a similar field. An expense is necessary if it's helpful to you in completing your work. What? Skip, 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 skip. My friend wants to know if this also applies to Twitch YouTubers and creators too. Yes, if they meet the two-part test, they can deduct things such as computers, lights, and editing software. Um, he said, 10 is save your receipts. Uh, like he said in that TikTok, that is why you save your receipts. I'm still learning about the taxes myself. Um, I personally have not saved my receipts. I should be saving my receipts, which 
After this video, since I have acknowledged I have not saved my receipts since the first step is acknowledgement, I need to, you know, act on it this time. So I will be saving my receipts and, you know, getting into the whole tax thing or whatever. That's basically the truth about OnlyFans. I hope I answered everyone's questions that I've been getting since the beginning of time. If I haven't answered your question, please write below and I'll answer it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Go ahead and like, comment, and if you're new to the channel, subscribe, and I'll be back with another video Friday. Peace.